I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. I have a special huge enormous Dollar Tree haul for you today. Now this haul are all items that are going to be donated. I have a local fabric store here in town so Katie Jean and every year they run a contest for people that buy their fabrics to make homemade stockings and then they also collect items to fill those stockings and then they donate them to CASA court appointed special advocates. These are people that support the local children in foster care. So I thought I would help them out this year and do a nice large Dollar Tree haul to help fill all those stockings. So today I'm gonna to start with the items that I bought for younger children and then we'll move through until I get to teens. So I did buy multiples of several items so I will just show you those multiple items as I move through all of these. I hope you enjoy the haul and I hope this gives you some ideas on what to buy to fill your children's stockings. The first thing that I wanted to start with is I did pick up seven of these jumbo coloring and activity books. This one is Holiday Magic, Frosty the Snowman, Jumbo Coloring and Activity Christmas Book, uh, Dr. Seuss, another Dr. Seuss, Star Wars, and the Avengers. I tried to pick up something for both boys and girls. To go along with that, I also picked up a box of 16 Crayola crayons to go with the coloring and activity books. A favorite of mine when I was a child are color forms. I did pick up two color forms, one with dinosaurs and one with Arthur. Both of these are popular and I'm sure the children will love them. I did find a really good deal on some toddler socks. You get 10 pairs and they are made by Fruit of the Loom. And this is small, six to 18 months for girls. I did pick up two packages. I also picked up a couple plushies. I thought these were really cute. I haven't seen these before. A couple little dinosaurs. They have this little green guy. And then this little blue guy. I thought they were really cute. That's Dinosaur Train. I also picked up some really cute little Christmas plushies. I have a little elf, this adorable little snowman, and of course you can't forget Santa. I thought these would be a good gift for a boy. These are 3D dinosaur puzzles. I did find four different ones. And you do get one set in each box and it is for ages six and up. But I thought these would be fun for a boy. Something that they can learn to put together and what little boy does not like dinosaurs. I also picked up some of these Jurassic World little dinosaur figures. I found four different ones. I did pick up one of each. last one. I also found some really cute little figures of Toy Story. So I picked up two Woody and two Buzz Lightyear and these are for ages three and up. And they are Mattel. This is their micro collection. I thought those would be adorable little stocking stuffers. And for the girls I found these which I thought were really cute. They're little Barbie pets. I thought that was nice that they are a brand name and something that any little girl would recognize. So we have the little kitten, we have a little bunny, and we have a little puppy. It's also nice that Dollar Tree carries Hot Wheels, which is also very popular. So I did pick up five of these. So we have this little guy. Another really nice stocking stuffer that any little boy will recognize. The last one. I even liked to play with Hot Wheels when I was little. I also found some of these light up spinning tops. So 
I did pick up one in blue, one in green, and one in red. Then I also found this really interesting looking spinning top, so I grabbed one of them, and this one also lights up. I also picked up a couple multi-packs here of the glow-in-the-dark sticks, and this one has 17 different pieces. It has uh, some bracelets, some necklaces, and some little sticks here. And then this one has the five larger sticks in several different colors. I thought that might be fun. And I also picked up one of the light up red nose. I thought that was cute. Card games, which I thought was pretty fun. Uh, this is for three or more players in ages 12 and up. This is Say What? So they give you a scrambled phrase and you have to figure out what the phrase is. And then this is called Mishmash. And this is the Sweet Treats Edition. So it says, be the first to unscramble the sweet treat. So the word is scrambled up and you have to figure it out. And then this is also like that, but this is the celebrity edition. So you have to figure out the celebrity's name. So I thought that would be fun. Something the whole family could get in on. I also picked up some of these really cute felt finger puppet kits for Christmas. This one is adorable. It has Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, a snowman, reindeer, and elf. And this one has a nativity scene. And this one has a little animals. It has a penguin, a raccoon, a fox, a bird, and I think that's a, that's either a hedgehog or a porcupine. I also picked up three palettes of their watercolors, and then I've attached here on the back a package of three paintbrushes to go along with them. I also picked up some Goody Ouchless hair bands. This is for medium hair, and you get 15 pieces in a package. And these are really nice for your hair. They don't get tangled, and they don't break your hair either. Really nice. I also have this package of Gimme. This is uh, for really long, thick, curly hair. And then I also picked up a couple of these, which is also for thick hair. And you get five per package. Now I thought these were really cool for tweens. These are called mood boards. My state of mind it says today's mindset and how you can help. And it gives you little pegs and stuff here in the back and it does stand up. And this one also says, my frame of mind, today's attitude, a roll with it, or. <laughs> so I thought that was cute, and I thought these would be great to go into a tween or teenage stocking. I also found these really cute little planners for 2023. They're little pocket size. You can put them in your purse or put them uh, in your book bag or whatever. And it has uh, all the holidays, and it has little places to put notes for the whole year. Also comes with password logs and other areas where you can take notes. So I thought that was really cute. I did pick up three of these, so I found this one. And this one. And this one. To go along with those, I also picked up three of these journaling ink, Magna Tank black ink pens. Very nice. These are roller gel pens. I also picked up one of each of the three books that they have, Let's Planner. These are stickers that you can use in your planners, and these are really nice. In this book, you get 385. And you do get a nice variety as to what types of stickers you get in each book. It's so nice that Dollar Tree came out with their version. Because if you've ever looked at a Happy Planner sticker book, they're pretty expensive. They can be $20 for a sticker book. So it's so nice to have something similar that you can get for $1.25. But I like these, they come in handy. 
I also found this cute little kit. It's called a Skin Sugar Glitter Tattoo Kit. There are 50 tattoos and two different glitters inside and one applicator brush. So I thought that would be fun for a tween to teen. And then I always try to support the arts and reading, so I did pick up a couple books. I thought these would be fun. I got two of the Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew. This is Scream for Ice Cream. And then you can't forget the boys, so I got two of the Hardy Boys, and this is Hopping Mad. I also picked up a box of these. They are beginner yoga activity cards and you get 32 poses. I thought this would be cute for a teen. I also picked up more adult card games and this is Deal or No Deal. Friends television series trivia game and Seinfeld trivia game. I thought that again this would be fun for the whole family. Now for teen boys I picked up three of these key ring laser pointers a good place for them to keep their keys and also a little fun toy to play with a red laser pointer i did pick up some grooming items for the boys this is uh, by the nobleman this is active face and body cleansing wipes this one is with lemon and sage i did pick up two of those this one is cooling face and body cleansing wipes with aloe and eucalyptus and then I also found this one, post-workout face and body cleansing wipes with eucalyptus and vitamin C. I also found these nice little packages for men. These are bath salts and aftershave balm by Cole Daper. I thought that was really nice, a perfect little package. I did pick up four of those. I picked up several of the original Vaseline lip therapy. I also picked up three of these Utterly Smooth Hand Cream. Now if you've never tried this, this is really nice hand cream, especially if you have really dry hands. This is their original formula and it is two fluid ounces. Vanilla Bean Lip Balm with Vitamin E and Aloe, softens and moisturizes. Freeman. Uh, facial masks. They had three different ones to choose from, so I grabbed one of each. There's Clearing Pomegranate Peel-Off Mask, Anti-Stress Sea Salt Mask, and Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. And these are all 1.5 fluid ounces. I also picked up some of the e.l.f. makeup. I grabbed two of their blotting sheets. I picked up one of their lipstick. This one is Classy. And I picked up a Cosmic Eyeliner. This is the white, this had highlights. And then I picked up a couple of these and these are wax pencils to shape your eyebrows. This is the e.l.f. lip color in Berry Sorbet. And this is under eye concealer and highlighter in Medium and Glow. hard candy items. This is the hard candy sheer envy setting spray. This is hard candy sensitive skin primer 1.6 ounce and this is the sheer envy long wear primer 12 hour by hard candy. And then I also found this which is a felt tip eyeliner. I also picked up a couple things in the LA Colors. This is Melt, a nice mix there of eyeshadows. I grabbed a sugar lip scrub, some setting spray, and a mascara. Color Mates Foundation in Light Medium, and I also found this Wet and Wild in a bronzer. And I picked up one of these over in the um, electronic section. This is a cable protector and they look like little dogs. You put them on the end of your cable so that they don't twist and break. So I thought that was really cute. I picked up one of those. And then I grabbed two of these. These are to put your cell phone in when you go to the beach or to the pool in the summertime. They do come with a strap. 
This, uh, and it says that you can work your phone while they're in there. So that's really nice, especially if you have a teen that likes to um, drop their phone in water. <laughs> so I picked up one of each of these. I thought this one was really cute, just a plain pink. And then this one has the watermelons and the flowers and things on it. Very nice. I also picked up two of these really nice boho craft kits. You get 12 pieces. It includes one loop, four pom-poms, six leaves, a piece of cording that is 11.5 inches in length. And it makes this really cute little wreath there. So I did grab two of those to donate. Now these were such a wonderful find. I did find these probably in October and uh, I bought several of these. This first one is a small nail clipper, tweezer, and nail file. You get three, they are by Brookstone. These are black coated stainless steel premium quality grooming tools. This is a perfect stocking stuffer for both boys and girls. So I have two of those. And then I also found this one, which you get two tweezers. And these are stainless steel with a silicone finish, and they are also premium gro grooming tools. You get a standard pair of tweezers, and then you also get a needlepoint pair of tweezers. So let's see, I have two of those. And then this is the last package that I found by Brookstone. This is a two-pack nail clipper set, so you get the larger and the smaller. And I did pick up three of those. What a nice stocking stuffer for both your teen boy or girl. Sport socks for the boys. This one is Pro Player Performance Ankle Socks. You get two pairs in each pack and I did pick up three packages. And then this one is by Bum Equipment. This is men's low cut. And I also picked up three packages of those. Boys always need clean socks. Now I also put together some kits for girls and boys that are in their teens. And I found these really cute little makeup cases by Kendall and Kylie. They had four different ones to choose from. I did pick up three of them, three different kinds. In this case, I did like a little manicuring set. So they get three bottles of polish and they're all different in each case. And then they all get uh, a package of files. So I thought that was really cute. Then they have a little case to keep all their goodies in. And all four of these are the same. The next little gift pack I did is this one. And again, this is the Kendall and Kylie makeup bag. And in this one, I did the false eyelashes. So they get the Ioni uh, eyelash glue, and then they get two pairs of false eyelashes. And I tried to stick with something that was a little bit more natural looking than the really wild ones that they have. But I thought how fun for a teenage girl to be able to play with false eyelashes. So I have three packages of those. And then in this kit for the girls, isn't that pretty? This is another one of the Kendall and Kylie makeup bags. In this one, I did put makeup. Now I tried to keep everything kind of more neutral so that it would fit a wider variety of girls. So in this one, they get a really nice 12 color eyeshadow palette. They also get a velvet lip in Silky by LA Colors. And then the Wet n Wild Black Mascara. And I have three packages of those. Now I didn't forget the boys, though I did not put together quite as much for the boys as I did for the girls because quite frankly, it's hard to find stuff for boys. But I did find these men's travel bags, which I really do like. They are actually very nicely made. And in each of these,
they come with a little package of shavers by Gillette. And then this is Hand Cream for Men by Cole Daper. And then they also get a aftershave lotion by Cole Daper. And this is 5.1 fluid ounces. And this one is 2.5 fluid ounces. But I thought how nice. And then they have a little container to keep all their goodies in. A perfect little gift for the teenage boy who's just learning how to shave. Now I also picked up some sweet treats to stick in the stockings because I know as a child I always loved a little something sweet. So I have three boxes here, uh, 25 mini candy canes. I thought that would be nice to stick a few candy canes in each stocking. I also picked up several multi-packages of gum in different flavors. I figured they could open it up and put a pack of gum in each stocking. I grabbed a couple packages of Tic Tacs. I also grabbed some packages here of Ferrero Rocher. You get three lovely bites in each package. I also grabbed several sticks here of the original Slim Jims. Who doesn't like beef jerky? And then I thought these were absolutely adorable. These are little individual Swiss Miss hot chocolate mixes. So I did pick up one of each. You have peppermint, milk chocolate, and marshmallows. How cute. Now this is the only thing that I did not buy from Dollar Tree. I bought this from Walmart. This is a two pound bag of chocolates, Three Musketeers, Snickers, Milky Way, Twix. 125 pieces. So to divide that up, I also included two of these treat sack bags. This one with the cute little snowman and this one with Santa. You get 15 counts. I figured they could break down the big bag of candy into these cute little bags and divide it out into the different stockings. Well, I hope you enjoyed that huge, enormous Dollar Tree haul, and I hope it gave you some ideas of what to pick up to help fill your kids' or grandkids' stockings this year. Thanks so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy Dollar Tree hauls, make sure to check this one out. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.